what are the disadvantages of Node.js? So we have studied there are different advantages of Node.js, different features of Node.js, but what are the disadvantages like why we should not use Node.js? Well, as an architect, we need to know both sides of the story. So although Node.js is getting popular for certain applications, but it has some disadvantages and these are libraries, callback, documentation and talent. Let's see what are these. So Node.js does not have a large number of libraries as compared to other frameworks like Spring or languages like Java. So still the number of libraries is not so much in the Node.js. So we have to implement a lot of things. There is one disadvantage. Then comes callback. So Node.js is based on event-driven programming. So for some synchronous applications, when we want real-time access, the event-driven mechanism may not be suitable. So we cannot use it in those scenarios where callback function is not the right option to use. Documentation, yes, even now it is difficult to find the complete documentation for Node.js. So there's not one good common place to find all the documentation because some things are dependent on V8 engine, some things are like specific to the JavaScript. So the documentation is also a big disadvantage for Node.js. Then comes talent, which is also a very good point because even though you can deal with their libraries, you can deal with the documentation, but you need the talented developers in Node.js area and it's very difficult to find. So due to this, as an architect, sometimes we have to decide if we have already the Node.js developers, then we go for this kind of architecture. Otherwise, if there's a waiting time to hire developers in Node.js, it may take some time to decide whether we should go for that or not. 